Hey everybody, welcome to Setzer's Super Simple Guide to Prime Wars. Prime Wars and Once Human are server-wide 40 player or up to 40 player events in which you can earn Star Crumb and three tiers of treasure chests. There are three things at the very minimum that you need to complete a Prime War. The first is going to be the Mimetic or Close Defense 1 the Mimetic for a Synthesis Bench, and the Biomass Missiles that you get from the Close Defense Mimetic. The objective here is to build one of these Gatling Cannons at the site of the Prime War, use the Biomass Missiles, because that's the only thing that goes in them, to deal damage to the Silver Plaque Shield that these mont uh, the bosses have. If you bring about 10 to 15 missiles, you're almost guaranteed to get the highest tier reward as long as the Prime War is completed. Now the way the Prime War works is everybody gets set up, everybody fires their biomass missiles, the boss's shield goes down, the boss goes down, everybody gets off the cannon, shoots the boss with their regular weapons, hopefully if there's enough people you can one phase it, otherwise it's a rinse and repeat until about maybe 10% of its HP, it'll go immune, it'll do a special thing depending on which boss it is, then you complete the special requirement to make the boss take damage again and you finish off the boss, and you get rewards. Some things to keep in mind are that if you are going to start the Prime War, you do need Staroid, about 150 at least for easy modes. Another thing to keep in mind is you will lag as long as there are more than probably about 10 people there. The only way to build the Gatling Cannon is to build a foundation. The tip I would highly recommend is getting the close defense turret to Mimetic. These Gatling turrets level 2s do significantly more damage, about 5,000 more damage per shot. A really cool trick you can use is before you go into the actual Prime War, so that you have the proper materials, you can build the Gatling Cannon in your base, demolish it, and you'll see the materials go directly into your bag so that you can build it over at the Prime War location with no issues. You don't have to dig through your boxes and pull out precise amounts or risk getting over encumbered for taking a whole stack. If you aren't the one who starts a Prime War, you can teleport to one. It will be lit up green on your map if it is active. You can also see the number of participating players to know if it's really worth your time. And that's about all you need to complete a Prime War. Thanks for watching Setzer's super simple guide to Prime Wars. I'm Setzer from GCP Gaming. If you like this video, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if this was helpful to you, and I'll see you all at the next one. See ya.